little tribute to a girl called Stacy Brooks. That's well, she she was Stacy Young, mostly known as the wife of Vaughn Young. And then she Vaughn Young died, and then she married Bob Minton, and Bob Minton died. So she's back to her maiden name, Stacy Brooks. Stacy was an intern supervisor at AOLA when I first met her. She was loved and she's a dedicated, she, like all of us, we were gullible. We really swallowed that this was a good ethical entity. Mind you, there's a constant chant within of their high ethics. It's laughable. They consider themselves the more noble strata of planet Earth. So mm -hmm. Stacy was promoted to this very high echelon. When you're working personally for Hubbard, you're above everything. So she's working in author services. And in author services, she's with David Miscavige several hours a day. And she watches his increasing violence. At four in the morning, um, one night, Vaughn and I were asleep, and there was a knock on the door, and two security guards were there, and they took me away and to the prison camp. Stacy Young says she was assigned to the RPF for disobeying an order to interrogate a fellow staff member. For part of the time, Young says she was in a room on the seventh floor of the Los Angeles church. Her husband admits he stood by and did nothing to try to get her out. You're being challenged that, you know, what are you? Are you disloyal? Do you, you know, you love your wife more than freedom for the planet? You're, you're going to let people suffer? You know, all this, all this crap is dumped on you. And what are you supposed to say? I didn't see Vaughn for several months. I didn't hear from him. I didn't have any correspondence with him whatsoever. He did nothing to try and... Um, Rescue me. He's slamming people against walls. He's screaming. He's spitting on people. He was spitting on this guy called Homer Shoma, who was the treasury person there. He was slamming the executive director of Alter Services, Terry Gamboa, on the, at the wall. He, 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 he cannot restrain his violence. He cannot. He slammed his own PC, his own person he was giving counseling to at St. Hill. But he continues that urge to use superior force with violence. Stacy watches all this, and I don't know exactly how it went down, but I was already working at OSA as Heber's assistant, and Stacy and Vaughn, her husband at the time, were in the rehabilitation project force. Stacy must have done more than one Rehabilitation Project Force because I was also in this North Korean mind control camp. And I was in with Stacy. But people are often sent back. You wrote it, you come out, you work, and you go back. So Stacy was in the Los Angeles RPF. And I was too at one point. And then Stacy fled. Now is when the story starts getting harder. Stacy not only fled, she was willing to be an expert witness. She was willing to speak out.
This is a dream come true for Scientology. Stacy Young would know. She was a member of the church for 15 years, including its elite sea organization. She also worked in the Office of Special Affairs and was managing editor of its Freedom magazine. She left in 1989 and has been a paid consultant in lawsuits against Scientology. The Cult Awareness Network was the only organization in um, the country where parents could call and say, you know, I've lost my child into this cult, what do I do? The Church of Scientology doesn't really like what we're doing, but um, we get calls every single day from people all over the country mm -hmm. um, whose lives have been destroyed or harmed in some way by Scientology. So although Scientology itself uh, presents a very benevolent, helpful image of itself to the public, um, the stories that we hear from people calling us about what has happened to them um, as a result of uh, either their own personal experience in Scientology or a family member's experience in Scientology um, is very, very different from that benevolent Im image that okay. uh, Scientology tries to portray. Okay. In Scientology, if you have any critical thoughts about Scientology particularly and about L. Ron Hubbard particularly or management, um, it, it means without any question that you have done something wrong mm -hmm. for which you are now trying to justify yourself by saying that these other people have done something or that or the, basically this is why you're being critical. Yeah. There's a particular part of the Church of Scientology which is called the Office of Special Affairs um, and they are the department of the organization that um, carry out the kinds of dirty tricks that we're concerned about, harassment and uh, harassive litigation, this kind of thing, which you may have heard something about. And the mad dog attack of the church went full bore. The, Stacy was a harmonic of Paulette Cooper. Not, no one, no one, no one is a, read Tony's book. If you want to see how deadly the church can be, with what venom and with what criminality, criminal, uh, this criminal, these things are criminal, these are not just little bit bad deeds. These are overwhelming, pushing the line, ambushing, getting, like Paulette is set up with her, get her thumbprint and use it in a fake way to get the, FBI to arrest her for bomb to This is criminal. Stacy was living with Vaughn in near the Seattle Northwest area. And she had a rescue. That's close to my heart. She had a rescue of dogs and cats. And she would take them in and try and find a home. And the church's vengeance on her one of the things they did is they sent her, every single neighbor of hers got a leaflet saying she had cats that were badly infected with feline AIDS and the whole neighborhood was in danger because of the animals. All her neighbors were given poison pen letters against her. Then they went higher. They went to animal control and said, these animals she had were infected. They did that with me. I bond for it. They went to animal control on me that I was torturing my animals. So this was an old ploy. What they did on Stacy, 15, 20 years later, they did.